Hello everybody, as requested, a how to solve a Rubik's 2x2 cube, a mini pocket cube. Uh, I got this requested at maybe like a couple hours ago, a couple hours ago, maybe two or three hours ago, something like that. Um, it, okay, if you don't know the notation for the 3x3 cube, um, I have a video in my link, in, uh, in my description, that will show you the notation, okay? And it's by me, and it's kind of one of my better Rubik's tutorials. But I'm going to go ahead and scramble this thing up, and we will get started. Okay, well, I'm going to try and jump right into this because I don't want to run out of video. And I want to be able to fit one more thing in here after at the end. Okay, um, let's see. Pick any corner that you want. Uh, since most of you have probably tried... Uh, attempted to solve the white face first. Let's just find what's got white in it. Like this one right here. White, orange, and green. And this, here's a white one over here. Let's see. Let's just look for one that's got white and green in it. Like, that, that one can't work. Here's one, right there. Let's just go ahead and put this in here. Um, you, it's kind of intuitive, actually, to get them in here. Sort of get this. I'm sure you can figure that out on your own. Just make sure that you get in uh get it right and lined up. Let's go ahead and put this one. Uh here's one that goes here, so um let's go ahead and uh, put this there. And seriously you should be able to figure out how to get to this point by yourself. Um this part is kind of hard to do. Uh wanna get your last corner um underneath uh this empty spot here. Um if it's already in this place but not oriented correctly, then just look at it like uh look at it right on when you're doing this is so view so that you see three phases, make sure you're looking right at it. Um but anyway, just get it underneath where it needs to go if it's not there. And then just do this algorithm. Um right inverted, down inverted, right, down. If that didn't make sense to you, you obviously don't know notation. So just go watch my video. Alright, and then you want to keep repeating that until it gets in its right spot and is oriented correctly like that. That took five times in case you counted. Um, after you solve this face, make sure that you got it right by checking to make sure that these sides here of the face are also solid color. She. See how that works? Looks like this. Okay. Now let's go ahead and bring this down to the bottom. Reorient the cube so that this is not on the bottom. And you want to um, look around the top layer for any piece that's in the right place. In my case, none of them are. Now, you want to make sure that either none are, or one is, or all of them are. Okay? But even if there's none in the right place, you want to go ahead and, uh, like, twist the top layer once. Um, if there's two in the right place, all you need to do is twist the top layer once, and it works see uh oh no they're all in the right place <laughs> I actually did not want that hold on a sec <clears throat> okay so um let's try this again that one's not in the right place um that one's not in the right place whoops that one's not in the right place and that one's not in the right place so what we need to do uh in uh is when this happens all you need to do is just twist the top layer once and it doesn't matter which way you turn it just turn it and then try it again. See, this one's in the right place. This one's in the You know what? Dang it. Okay, so hold on again. Okay, hopefully this works. Okay, yes, it worked. You want to make sure that only... Um, so if only one of yours is lined up, you want to hold the cube so that it is... Uh, so that, again, you can see three faces and that you're looking right at the, cu the cubelet. Um... And just do this algorithm. It goes uh, while you're looking right at it. Go do up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And you may need to repeat that. Um, in my case I do, so just repeat it again. Um, and you should only have to repeat it once or twice. If you have to repeat it three times. Just twist the top layer once and see what you get. It should work then. 
Um, now all we need to do is you need to rotate these two corners so that they're flipped the right way. As you can see, all four of them are in the right, whoops, are in the right place. This one is, see that? This one is, this one is, and this one is. Um, so what we need to do is just do this algorithm. Look right on it. Look at it well, so that you see three faces and so that you're looking right at this cubelet and just do this algorithm and a little thing I should tell you is that it's gonna look like you're messing everything on the cube up however if you can do this uh, however if you look if you pay very close attention to what you're supposed to do and do it right it will not mess itself up and don't worry um, it's just a little mistake that people make but it then screws them up and they have to start over it goes you already know it right inverted down inverted right down okay and keep repeating that until it's oriented the right way see that now like I said all this is gonna look messed up now instead of just orienting the entire cube so that this is not the right place and then you need to flip it instead just twist the top layer only so that this is where it needs to go see that and then just do it again keep repeating it until it solves itself okay like that and then just go ahead and line this up with finish by twisting the top layer until it's solved and there you go so you solve a two by two um just took me 101 moves because kept getting this just trying to teach you something but the cube wouldn't let me um five minutes and 44 seconds because that was a tutorial um Here's what I wanted to show you. This is something I've been trying to show all you YouTubers a lot is on the 4x4. I made up this really awesome pattern that I've been wanting to show off for a long time. Looks kind of like this, kind of stripey pattern. Um, and I'm going to show you how to actually do this pattern. And this also works on the 2x2, actually. Um, it's just a, you kind of have to configure with it a little bit. I don't know. But it works exactly the same way on the two I do. Um, first, what you want to do is you want to get this sort of pattern going on, this thing here. Um, and then what you want to do is just do it. Is, um, you don't have to do that. Just um, um, turn in, get this thing here. So I turn those two twice. Okay. And then wait, so first, twist two horizontal layers twice, one inside one, one outside one. Make sure that they're kind of alternating between you know, colors. And then twist two um, vertical layers twice so that they're kind of alternating you know, between colors. And then twist the same two horizontal ones um, twice again. So boom, boom. And then actually, don't, don't matter if they're the exact same ones because um, they'll get the same result. They should have this pattern. It's kind of stripey on all sides of this unusual stripe side here. One look at it so that you're seeing uh, some horizontal stripes, and that, then you want to make sure that the colors aren't opposites, and that these here are right next to it. Like that, those and that. Just twist two vertical ones twice like that. And then what you want to do is you want to look over here at this stripe spot here, and you want to turn these into one of these until you like the pattern, same pattern comes back. And I'm just going to do bam, bam. And see how I still have the same pattern each time? And then you get this. The pattern. It didn't make sense. I'm sorry. Kind of breezed through it. I don't know exactly how to explain it. But that's kind of how you do it. It's got checkers up, checkers up here. And this striped pattern. Looks really cool. I made that pattern up myself. At least I think I did. If I, if, I, if you've heard of that pattern, tell me. Um, Cause I, I'm I'm seriously thinking I made this pattern up. That I haven't really seen it before.